not, not a whole lot's changed since our 330 update. Uh, two things I would like to pass along is still encourage all residents that may be in or near the plume, just shelter in place. Don't touch any debris that may be in your yard. Uh, Indiana Environmental, uh, IDEM is here now, sorry. IDEM is here now, EPA is getting involved. They'll do all that testing and they'll give us those results and we'll, we'll communicate those as quickly as, as we can to let everybody know what's safe and what's not safe. Uh, also, water, uh, we've, we've slowed down our consumption of water here. We brought in additional resources. We have tankers on the scene now that are trucking in water. Uh, Plainfield water is, is in a good spot, uh, still able to provide the community with the water they need uh, after we maxed out their system earlier. But um, this is gonna be a long going operation well into, this, well into the evening. We still have all the major players here uh, and team partners that are gonna assist us with this investigation. ATF's gonna be the lead agency on the investigation. And it'll take days, if not weeks, to, to come up to a, with a cause. But, but right now, everybody's safe. We have had one minor firefighter injury since the 3.30 update. Uh, they were treated and released back to the scene here, and they're back operating. But um, for now, I don't have any real new information outside of that. And I'd welcome in a few learn, questions. Yeah, were you able to learn anything from any of the interviews with the employees? I, we have not. Uh, the ATF and our fire marshal are doing those now, and I've had no con no contact with them since the last, the last time. But they're working on that. And I know it's going to take quite a process to release the associates back do you to know their families large, after this interview. Do you interviews. know how large this facility is? This first? interview, sorry, this, this facility is almost 1.2 million square feet. Okay. Chief, uh, why is it important for people to keep in mind that there are so many things that can be contained in here and potentially lead to that debris being toxic and not knowing that it, it whether it could be right now at this point? Right, it's, it's the unknown and we're going to err on the side of the caution for now. Uh, we'll treat everything as if it's hazardous. Uh, we'll do the appropriate testing and stuff, and then we'll, we'll communicate that with the public as, as soon as it's safely to do so. So Chief, what's you your message to structure? Sorry about that. Uh, talk about the structure a little bit and, and how it plays a role in, help, in helping this not spread. Yeah, they, they, this facility, like I said, is 1.2 million square feet. It does have firewalls and a fire suppression system that was, everything was working appropriately, but it has such a heavy fire load that it overtook our crews and, and our ability to, to extinguish that fire safely. And after about a half an hour of being here, we had to evacuate. Um, as I said earlier, we did have a, a quick mayday situation where some firefighters became disoriented and lost. We quickly rectified that and then went back, back about our efforts. But it is contained right now to the square foot or the, the footprint of the facility. And we'll just continue to work on it here for the next few hours. Is there any way that it started on the third floor and how did it spread from there? I don't have an answer to that at the moment. Okay, it started on the third floor still? We had fire on the front third floor, but we have no idea where it may have started. Is there any word on you know what the air quality is at this point? Have you gotten any updates on that? I'm sure people Absolutely are wondering. Absolutely not. I, I did just arrived within the last 10 minutes um, because I'm here. I haven't had a chance to have a conversation with them, so I have no information. How are the employees doing? I, I do not I do not know. The last time I talked to any of their associates or, or team members was a couple hours ago. Um, the police department and some other other folks are handling reunification. And that reunification is happening now? Yes, it's <laughs> in progress now. now. The ATF is doing some interviews with some employees that were on site mm -hmm. and in the area of the, of the fire. And once that's done, they'll start releasing everybody. But they want to make sure they, they talk to everybody they need to before they leave the scene here. Right now, we have no idea why, why it made, what may have started this. Um, no reason to believe it's suspicious or anything. But we'll do our due diligence over the next coming days and weeks to figure that out. Would you How attribute would you? the fact that the employees were able to get it out to the fact that the fire system was working? Absolutely. Yes. That. You know, heavy, heavy fire load in there. Um, it sounds like there was lots of clothing in the area where the fire started, um, and wrapped in plastic and such. Spread very quickly, but I think with the advanced warning systems and stuff and the, and the uh, accountability systems they have in place, Walmart did a very good job here of evacuating the building and, and making sure all our people were safe. I was going to say, what were the successes here? The fact, you know, the fact that we don't have any injuries, what contributed to that? And especially when you look at the thing and... <laughs> yeah, I think we were, we, the fire department was here within three minutes uh, of the time we were dispatched. Uh, just, just happened to be, as I said earlier, we were right down the road doing some training. So we were here within three minutes. The, the safety plans that Walmart has in place for their associates and stuff, that obviously worked. Uh, took a little while to get accountability, but you're talking about a thousand employees, um, and that's expected. But they, they had multiple rally points. They met there. Uh, we, we had a pretty good plan of, of what we were going to do, right? This doesn't happen every day, but we trained for it to happen every day, and, and we were well prepared. We've got close to 18 probably fire agencies here working now um, from inside, or, you know, all around Henderson County are here working to put this out. We're working as one team. We train together. We communicate together weekly for events such as this. So, can residents in Plainfield expect there to be any sort of like less water pressure or? Right, right now, the water system in Plainfield is good, and we've reduced what we're using here. So, I do not foresee 
uh, any any water issues here within the town. We've also, uh, as I said, we're we're using a local pond to get water. We're tanking or we're trucking water in. We're using uh, citizens' water as well as the town of Plainfield's water system. And right now, everybody should notice very little difference in their water I pressure think we're good. system. Do you so, have enough water? Chief? Yeah, yes, right now we have enough. I'll, I'll try to give an update again here within the next hour and a half or so. But for now, I'm yeah, so if we have any more uh, developments or any more updates in the next hour or so, I'll make sure I get with each of you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much.